Greetings, this is Brent Maxwell, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Diego with a weekly weather briefing. The big picture will be the Santa Ana winds, which will occur especially Wednesday and Thursday, followed by lighter east to northeast winds Friday through the weekend. We'll also have low humidity, especially starting Thursday, and that will contribute to the elevated fire weather risk. The summary is, of course, the Santana winds where we could have some gusts around 60 miles per hour, especially near and below the Cajon Pass. Strongest winds will be in the Inland Empire and Orange County, but because of the sort of north to northeast flow, it'll be weaker in San Diego County. We'll have low humidity, possibly below 10% in some areas, especially Thursday through Sunday, and 15% in a lot of areas, with poor recovery at night. There'll be, fortunately, we have live fuel moisture being above average or wetter, but the dead fuel moisture is below average, and that's because we had a Santana wind last week and we had some dry air in place even before then. We will have some warmer weather Thursday through Sunday after the cool spell, Tuesday and Wednesday. However, temperatures will continue to be cold at night in some of the mountains and high desert areas. Here is our upper air pattern on the left, and we'll have a trough of low pressure moving through the region Wednesday followed by high pressure aloft. And by Thursday morning, you can see the surface pressure pattern on the right, where we have surface high pressure building into the Great Basin with north to northeast flow over Southern California. This map shows the peak gusts on Wednesday, and we could have a few gusts around 60 miles per hour below the Cone Pass but most areas will have gusts between about 20 and 40 miles per hour. On Thursday, the winds expand a little bit. Probably Thursday morning will be the peak winds of this event, where maybe the Santa Ana Mountains of Orange County could also have gusts around 60 miles per hour, maybe even just a little bit more with a lot of areas having gusts between 20 and 40 miles per hour. As you can see, the humidities will be very low Thursday and Friday, not quite as low initially on Wednesday because the air will still be kind of cold, but as it warms up Thursday and Friday, the relative humidities will go down. And these are the high temperatures for Tuesday, a cooler day, about five degrees below average in most areas. Then on Wednesday, the cooling trend will continue in the mountains and deserts, but maybe a little bit warmer because of the Santana winds west of the mountains, but not much because we'll still be under that trough of low pressure. On Thursday, we should start to see more of a temperature increase over most areas. And that basically by Friday, temperatures will briefly level out. But if we look towards the weekend, we should have a very warm day, both Saturday and Sunday. West of the mountains, temperatures could be 5 to locally 10 degrees above normal. And if we look farther out, for the following week, looks like there's going to be a big trough of low pressure over the East Pacific, and that could bring our first substantial rainfall since August to the region, with possibly an inch of rain for San Diego. Some of the model ensembles are indicating that, but most likely the rainfall will be less than that. But still, this will be a different pattern. It'll actually be a storm system that will likely move through Southern California sometime between about November 14th and the 17th. So stay tuned and thanks for attending the weekly weather briefing.